This is a Alice Chalmers D19 high crop uh, with LP fuel. These are conversions. This is a Thompson conversion tractor. To our knowledge, there's only one other LP Alice Chalmers uh, high crop uh, that exists in the LP version. Well, my, my original intention when I bought this tractor was uh, we were going to restore it. I actually have a, what you would call a donor tractor, and I intended to tear this thing completely apart and use the parts from the other tractor to replace all the tin and motor and everything we needed to do. And I've owned this tractor for over 12 years. Uh, we'd never touched it, never messed with the engine. I got it from a guy uh, south of Nashville, Tennessee, who had brought it up from Alabama. We had to cut the small trees down around it to get it out, so it hadn't run for years before I had it. So we do not know when the last time this tractor ran, but I'm guessing it's at least 20 years. A few days ago, I thought, well, I'll just check it, and took a crowbar, and, and the engine was actually moving. So I thought, well, this is worth messing around a little bit with. So we, uh, we started on this, and we pulled it around for a while. We got the engine moving. We pulled the plugs, put fogging oil in it, got everything to lube the rings up and get everything going, and it, it seemed to all move and fine. Um, we put a starter in it and uh, started spinning it around, messed with the LP a little bit and we finally got it to pop. And it actually, uh, it uses a little oil, but uh, 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 I'm sure it needs rings, probably valve guides, everything else, but uh, it does run. I couldn't put the battery up here because we had a bird nest where the battery was supposed to be. So we put a box down below and we thought, well, to leave it authentic, we leave some of the, uh, some of the uh, vines and weeds that were on it. And it's pretty much untouched other than uh, what we did to get it, get it running. Probably the one thing that saved this tractor from not being all rusted up inside was somebody long before I had it had taken every drain plug out of it. I mean, the, the oil plug was gone, the hydraulic plug was gone, the radiator, all the radiator plugs were gone. Um, but I do actually think that probably saved the engine because it didn't accumulate, or the, the entire tractor because it didn't accumulate all, any, any moisture inside. 10,951 Alice Chalmers D19s were built from 1961 to 1964. The D19 could do about 64 horsepower on the drawbar and was rated to pull a five bottom plow. Only three gasoline and two LP gas high crops are still known to exist. It's set up as a cane tractor. Uh, the transmission is reversed in it so the differential gear has been changed. The four forward gears go backwards and the reverse goes forward. Uh, we're, we've got it, uh, I presume they were picking up, picked up uh, sugar cane with it uh, way south and and based on the rust it was probably not that far from the ocean or just front somewhere. I would say being a southern tractor it probably never spent a day inside in its life until I got it. We've had it inside for the last 12 years. It really would change how I would restore this tractor now because uh, we would it still would look better if it had pretty paint on it but it's kind of unique this way uh, but it doesn't have to be tore down as much as I thought we originally would have to tear everything core apart. So it's, uh, it's, an, interesting, it's an interesting piece and it's, it's really been a lot of fun.